all right so we're back for another video um i'm sorry i've been gone for so long i've just literally like it's been such a nightmare with filming and everything's been going on and i've been i've had a lot of stuff to deal with so i'm filming today it's a bit warm and i'm not as confident when it's as warm for pike i prefer it when it's a bit colder it's about 16 degrees 17 degrees um but they have been feeding semi-decent on here um i'm unsure about what i'm gonna use today layer wise just because i think because it is quite warm i don't know if they're gonna be reaction striking i'll keep you guys posted and i'll let you know how i do And this is what it what it looks like. She's great. Uh, I'm basically using an LMAB craw as a bit of a top water. See if we can get a, a bite because I don't have any uh, little frogs or anything. But I mean, the pike are going to be over there, aren't they? If they're anywhere. like kind of like a bit of top water I'm using the biggest craw I'll maybe do to a hook through um, a little swivel so I can quickly change if I want to put on something else and I'm on 12 pound floor for a leader am I going to catch anything I don't know I've never kind of fished the craws top water without a weight on so it is something a bit different Got one. See that take? See that take? Did you see that? It's only a little one, but. So cool. cool. That take was so cool. The other made me crawl. There he is in the net. Here he is, little guy. Skinny. He's very skinny. For how long he is. Caught on the LMA beef finesse crawl. Top water style. So yeah, go try for another one. Get this guy back. There he goes. One down. If you are doing this method, what you want to do is where your hook is, just kind of tuck it in a little bit so if they do bite it it's still gonna pop right out but tuck your hook just to avoid those snags yeah right i'll go to the next spot that's all right Yeah, that first fish we had was actually quite nice for the size of the lair. It's not a huge lair, is it? Uh, but I'm hoping we can, we can do better than that. They're going to be sat under these lilies. It's getting them out the lilies and getting them to commit to it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah! There we go. That's a cool take, isn't it? Oh, so cool. Don't want it 
to come off in the lilies. I think it's only little. Feel it. You hear that? Stuck in that lily. It's only little. Here he is. Bully him in a bit. Let's get my net out. <laughs> That's where I do not want him to go in there. Yeah, he snagged me. Oh no, I'm, I've got him out in a load of lilies. Can chin him. Can definitely chin him. Oh, he's off. He came off. I'm counting it. I'm counting it. <laughs> yeah, pulled me through all this. Look at that. I think it's a little bit harder for them to miss the lair just because it is so shallow in here. That like, I don't think they're gonna be missing it as much. But we'll have to see. I mean, I've hooked up all of them so far, but we shall see. Yeah. Oh, you came off, came off. He's down there. Just as I'm saying, like, I haven't missed any so far, it's karma. Okay, so the rod I'm using in this video is the LMAB Rod Father. It is the 3 to 14 gram. I have the BFS Carada by Shimano on here with 12 pound fluoro. Um, this rod, I mean, is just beautiful. Like, it does so well. This is my main perch rod at the minute, and it just does so well at handling pike, perch. It's just such a great rod. Um, so make sure you go check it out. Um, the, there's so many new retailers for LMAB at the minute, so you'll find them pretty much everywhere. But I'll put a link to this rod, the lair I've been using, the reel, everything. I'll put it in the description so you guys can have a look. Oh, I missed one because I bird's nested. No. I missed one because I bird's nested. Get it back out over there. No, I missed it again. I missed it again. I missed it again. Third time lucky, come on. No, I'm snagged in a lily. Get in this next one. I'm getting, whatever goes for this next is getting out and it's going in my net. That last one proper went for it, like a bullet. Told you, whichever one, oh, it's tired. Whichever one I was getting next, I was getting it out regardless. And it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. And it's come off. <laughs> yes! Stay on. Stay on swimming right towards me. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Please stay on. Nope. No, you are not. You're not getting off. You're in. We did it. The second fish. Finally. He's tiny, but it's a fish. A fish is a fish. He's got a weird little mark there, but ne nonetheless, it's a pike. Oh, little beauty. That is what I wanted. It's absolutely microscopic, but 
He is a fish. See you later, buddy. Oh, finally. Oh. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this video. I tried so hard to hook up those fish, but they just weren't having it. I've walked for so long and for some reason, like they just weren't hooking up. You know how it is with top waters. They're hard to hook up sometimes. Completely just wanted to try something different. Um, top water, I had no frogs. So I went with the LMAB finesse fillet crawls. This is not what they look like, but the arms have been bitten off. I've been through three today. Um, but yeah, there's still, still a lot of fun to try and get some fish on the top water. I'm so buzzing that top water season has started now. They're finally going for top waters. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Hopefully gonna be trying to post videos more and more frequently, but just time wise, I'm not very good at managing my time, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did subscribe, like, comment if you want uh follow me on instagram i'll put my name on screen now or i'll put it as a link in the description i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so if you want to subscribe please do um and yeah i'll see you in the next one